The theropods are a diverse and famous group of dinosaurs in a wide range of forms, from feathered, bird-like predators to semi-aquatic piscivores and even ground-dwelling herbivores. This group still lives on with the birds of today's planet. However, the most beloved and also feared of these dinosaurs are an informal group referred to as the megatheropods. These animals were the planet's largest terrestrial carnivores, most of which being the apex predators of their own ecosystem, dominating the top of the food chain. In this video, we will have an overview of all these 26 impressive killers and reveal the true largest predator to walk the earth. <laughs> Before we overview the megatheropods, I'm going to note a few things. According to Wikishnary, a theropod has to weigh 4000 kilograms or more to be classed as a megatheropod. That's the weight of an Asian elephant bull. Some sources suggest a required weight of 5000 kilograms or more, but I'm choosing the lower end of the scale. Note that the 26 dinosaurs in the video will be ordered in weight, not length, since after all, size is determined by mass. The more mass, the heavier an object is. For example, the lion's mane jellyfish may be longer than a blue whale, but in reality, since the whale has more mass, it's larger, being almost 190,000 kilograms heavier than the former. The sizes and number of the dinosaurs in this video are based on a group spreadsheet by users Derpy.stego and Giganotosaurus from the Theropoda Discord server. It includes three spreadsheets of the top largest ornithischians, sauropodomorphs and theropods respectively. Shout out to these people for helping me with the scaling of the dinosaurs in this video. I will link both the chart and the server in the description if you wanna join. Lastly, new discoveries might cause this video to become outdated. I mean no one can ever predict the future. So if you're watching in the far future, some of the information in this video might be inaccurate in your time. Now let's get right into the video. The first and smallest megatheropod we have is an unknown able I saw it from Brazil, represented by the specimen URCR44. It measures 10.3 meters long and weighs 4,300 kilograms, just a few hundred kilograms heavier than the 4-ton requirement. For those who say that Pycnonmosaurus nevasi is the largest able I saw it, you're wrong. It's the largest one officially named as of now, but it's literally smaller than URC. CR44 at only 8.9 meters and 3,200 kilograms. So Pycnonmosaurus isn't a megatheropod and also the smallest theropod on Derby and Giga's spreadsheet. However, URCR44 is not the largest table I saw it, as there's a bigger one that we'll get into in a bit. The next one, surprisingly, is the Lord of the Lizard Eaters. Saurophaganax Maximus. While Saurophaganax, according to the spreadsheet, is 11.2 meters long, it's also 4,300 kilograms, making it downsized away from those huge 13 meter estimates. With that as well as some larger allosaurid specimens that are probably not Saurophaganax itself, it loses the crown for the largest Jurassic theropod ever. The third whopper on our list is an uncatalogued specimen referred to a second species of the theropod genus, Carcharodontosaurus, which was a dinosaur that coexisted with the famous Spinosaurus, nicknamed Carcharodontosaurus aguidensis. However, C. aguidensis is probably its own genus itself. As for the size of this terror, it's about 10.35 meters long and 4,360 kilograms. That's it. Next up is the smallest Tyrannosaur in this video, Zocheng Tyrannus Magnus, a relative of the famous North American Tyrannosaurus rex and it would have been its smaller equivalent in China. The dinosaur would have been a little shorter than the other theropods we've had so far at 10.2 meters, but heavier at 4,500 kilograms. Some estimates suggest a length of 12 meters but I'll use the 10.2 meter estimate since it's more reliable. Remember the fact I told you that URCR44 wasn't the largest table I saw its specimen? Well here's its bigger cousin, 
unofficially named Titan Ovenator caniensis. This Kenyan theropod is pretty obscure in the Palaeus being known from fragmentary remains, but at least Derpy and Gigo estimated the animal at 10.9 meters long and again 4,500 kilograms. When it was described, Sertich et al. gave it a rough estimate of 11-12 meters long. But I'll use the estimate on the spreadsheet given that it's again more reliable and it also includes a weight estimate for this mysterious animal. Despite being smaller than what Sertich et al. estimated, it's still the largest table I saw known being larger than URCR44. The next dinosaur is a specimen known from a femur, and possibly belonging to the genus Megalosaurus bucklandii, famous for being the first dinosaur named. Back in 1827, while an average Megalosaurus would have been around 8 meters long according to Dan Folks, this potential specimen reaches 11.36 meters long and weighs 4,620 kilograms, so it's actually larger than many think. Next is a fragmentary specimen catalogued as NMMNHP 26083, the fossils of an unknown allosaurid much larger than any definite saurophagnax specimen. The animal would have been 11.5 meters long and 4,660 kilograms in weight. Given that this dinosaur is only known from fragmentary postcranial remains, it's no surprise that there isn't a unique feature from it distinguishing it from other allosaurids like Allosaurus and Saurophaganax, so it could just be synonymized with the latter. Next up is Science Mecarum, Neovenatis sailor IOS larger, American brother, the holotype. FMNHPR 2716, is estimated to have been 11.34 meters long and 4,700 kilograms. Truly it was the king of Utah at its time. Again I don't really have anything else to say about this. So let's move on to the next Megatheropod, Sigil Massasaurus Brevicus. This dubious Spinosaurid was a mid to large sized piscivore in the ecosystem where the possibly larger Spinosaurus Egyptia lived, at the same weight as science but a little longer at 11.7 meters. In 2018, Arden et al. assigned everybody's favorite giant, often referred to Spinosaurus but maybe not, MSNMV 4047, to Sigil Massasaurus, which would have made the animal larger than the Spinosaurus at 13.3 meters and 7,100 kilograms. However, a study by Smythe et al. 2020 suggested that Sigil Massasaurus itself was a dubious genus and synonymized to Spinosaurus, making the genus likely non-existent. I still included this animal here because every life form have their own specimens, including dinosaurs. We then have Torvosaurus and Gens, and nope this isn't another genetically modified dinosaur in the Jurassic Park franchise. This African megalosaurid has been argued over which genus of theropod it belongs to, being only known from tibia remains. It is thought to either be a species of Megalosaurus or Torvosaurus. Anyways, this dinosaur had a length of 10.83 meters and a weight of 4,730 kilograms. Chiliantesaurus dashuicuensis is a Chinese of a theropod also with a troubled classification. Its discoverer, Hu et al. 1964, classifying it as an elisaroid, with studies after this even suggesting it was a relative of or even itself a spinosaurid. It could likely though be a carcharodontosaurid. The theropod itself measures around 11.44 meters long and 4,800 kilograms. There's a lot more we need to learn about this obscure animal. A European species of Torvosaurus, called Torvosaurus gurnii, was the king of Portugal during the late Jurassic. The huge megalosaurid measured 10.9 meters long long and 4,820 kilograms. Its American counterpart, Torvosaurus tanneri reached slightly heavier proportions, contrary to popular belief, at 10.7 meters and 4,830 kilograms. However, it did not dominate its area unlike T. gurnii being overshadowed by a larger megatheropod in its ecosystem which we'll talk about later. Our next contender is oddly, a herbivore, Therizinosaurus chiloniformis could still pack a punch with those meter long claws, although it's smaller than 12 other theropods at 9 meters and 4,900 kilograms. 
including its worst predator, Tarbosaurus boa, another tyrannosaurid, however this carnivore both roamed Mongolia and China. This tiny armed terror was 10.65 meters and 5,100 kilograms. Although there are some estimates suggesting a 12 meter length, I'm still not leaving the shorter length though. Again, yet another potential Torvosaurus shows up on our list. This time it's a French specimen and possibly the largest of its genus at 11.4 meters and 5510 kilograms. I've been saying about it a bunch of times in this video and you waited for it. Here's your gift, Epantaria zampulxus. This huge but likely dubious allosaurid is the absolute king of the Jurassic, and the strongest apex predator of its ecosystem, the Morrison Formation in the United States of America, where Sorphaganax maximus, the indeterminate Allosaurid, and Torvosaurus danneri also live. The Allosaur itself reached the length of Tyrannosaurus rex at an enormous 12.42 meters and 5,700 kilograms. However, even it isn't the largest of the Megatheropods. One of the larger latter is the high spinned lizard, Acrocanthosaurus satocansis. It's safe to say that this absolute unit is definitely the Schwarzenegger of the world of Dinosauria, and the recognizable hump lives up to its name. In life, this lad would have been a massive 11.4 meters and 5,800 kilograms. Next up is another species, or possibly the only species of Carcharodontosaurus. Carcharodontosaurus saharicus. The shark toothed lizard was actually quite smaller than what older 13 14 meter estimates suggest, measuring 12 meters long and 6,800 kilograms. Contrary to popular belief, Spinosaurus aegyptiacus isn't the largest theropod. Once believed to be a huge 18 meters and 20,900 kilograms within the 2000s, the river beast has been downsized a bunch of times. Even some huge specimens like the famous MSNM V4047, have been reassigned to indeterminate Spinosaurians that possibly aren't Spinosaurus. The largest definitive Spinosaurus known nowadays is the destroyed and lost holotype, which according to the spreadsheet is 10.3 meters long and 3,330 kilograms which is below the 4-ton requirement to be a megatheropod. However, a 13.1 meter, 6,800 kilogram specimen, catalogued as NHM UK are 16,421, actually overlaps with the holotype and is comparable to it. It's still unsure if it's 100% a Spinosaurus, due to only being known from a partial dentary. So here it's nicknamed Spinosaurus C.F. Egyptiacus. Still, Spinosaurus is not the largest theropod, with several other megatheropods weighing hundreds of kilograms heavier. Next is Tyrannotitan Shubutensis, an 11.73 meter, 6,910 kilogram Carcharodontosaurid from the early Cretaceous that roamed Argentina, just like its larger, younger relatives. Giganotosaurus and Mapusaurus. Seriously a bunch of Carcharodontosaurids here on this list are rad. We then move on to the now indeterminate Spinosaurine, MSNM V4047. It's a little larger than an HMUKR 16421, at 13.3 meters and 7100 kilograms. Although NHMUKR 16421 is more likely to be a Spinosaurus than MSNM V4047, it's still possible that the latter was indeed from the genus, however due to only being known from a rostrum it's hard to tell as of 2022. Still, Spino or not, these specimens aren't the largest theropods. We have four more contenders, and that includes the absolute unit of ducks. Dinochirus mirificus. Although sometimes mistaken for a hadrosaur, it's actually the largest ornithomimosaur known. For 49 years the megatheropod was only known from its arms longer than an average human, until 2014 when more remains were described, and even its diet, which would have been omnivorous, 
eating both plant matter and fish. Not only are its arms one of the longest in the animal kingdom but also itself is the fourth largest theropod, at 11.8 meters and 7,300 kilograms. Even its contemporary predator, Tarbosaurus, would have to keep its distance from this hunk's huge arms and heart bill. I mean, no large herbivore is ever a weak piece of fodder for predators. Now we visit the world of Theropoda's Big Three. The first dinosaur here is Mapusaurus rosei A. Not only was it the third largest predator to walk the earth at 12.23 meters and 7,400 kilograms, but its Titanosaurian contemporary, Argentinosaurus huincalensis, was also the largest animal to walk the earth at a staggering 33.6 meters and 84,000 kilograms. Originally thought to weigh 3,000 to 5,000 kilograms, this killer has increased in size. The next contender is Giganotosaurus carolinii. Although a 13,800 kilogram weight is shown on Wikipedia, it's more likely that the Carcharodontosaurid was 7,860 kilograms along with having a length of 12.56 meters. Still, this titan is bigger than your average modern elephant. But both Mapusaurus and Giganotosaurus are not the largest predators to walk the earth. There is one more, even larger Megatheropod on the list, and it may be a surprise to some of you. Tyrannosaurus Rex. That's right, this chonk is the largest predator to walk the earth, when the largest specimen, RSMP 2523.8, nickname Scotty, was first described in 2019, it was believed to have weighed 8,800 kilograms. In 2020, Asiel Laramendi and colleagues did a study suggesting that dinosaur densities were higher than we thought. In 2022, Dan Fox and Toxic Magic 21 made a 3D model of Scotty along with the Giganotosaurus paratype, with Laramendi et al's theropod density of 0.97. This resulted in a theropod weighing an absolutely enormous 10,600 kilograms, with a length of 12.4 meters. That's 200 kilograms heavier than even the largest African bush elephant known, which is heavier than every other terrestrial carnivore. Tyrannosaurus rex truly deserves its name as the tyrant lizard king and truly holds the title of largest terrestrial carnivore. And now that we have visited all the 26 megatheropods, it's now time to end the video.